Hey YouTube, it's your girl Ajna313 coming at you guys tonight with a review. I'm doing a review. I'm doing a review. Okay, I'm done. Um, if you know anything about this channel, first of all, it's very random, <laughs> very mismatched. And that's okay, because I I'm not um proclaiming to be any expert on any one thing so I feel like I can dabble in all of it okay as far as I'm concerned so I'm doing a review tonight and I don't do reviews that often because a lot of the products that I get I see reviews for and I've never really been a fan of reviewing something that other people have reviewed I mean on occasion I will but generally a lot of the stuff I get y'all don't even see because it's the same stuff y'all have and you know, it's, I just, I don't know, I don't see the point sometimes of, of doing reviews that is like a million of, you know, the reviews on YouTube. So I tend to do things, like I said, that people don't do or that I haven't seen or that I don't see that many of. So one thing I have seen reviews on but I have not seen reviews on this particular color was the um, L'Oreal True Match Foundation, okay? Now this is the one I purchased yesterday from Big Lots. You guys saw that Big Lots haul. I got the W8 um, Cream Cafe. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this is the one I purchased. Now when I got it home and opened it, it was um, too light for me. Now the thing that like threw me off was that in Big Lots, there were probably four different bottles of W8 Cream Cafe. They all said W8, they all said Cream Cafe, but they were a range of colors you know for this to be the same foundation so I remembered um, that there was one WA that looked a little bit darker than the rest of them so I decided to go back to Big Lots today as a matter of fact and purchase the darker one now I don't know if you guys can tell can y'all see the color difference in that let me can y'all see that and they're supposed, both supposed to be WA but clearly this one is, is darker than this one. Well, anyway, so um, as you know, at Big Lots, you can't um, return makeup. So I just had to eat the $2 that it was. I ended up paying $4 for two foundations. But I actually think I'm going to end up using the lighter one um, maybe in the winter. I'm thinking it, it might it might just work for the winter. I don't know. We'll see. But um, so I got this foundation. Now, I will tell you that I have this foundation on right now, Okay. And I applied this foundation, let me see, it's almost 10 o'clock. No, it is 10 o'clock. I applied this foundation this morning at approximately 10 o'clock this morning. So what is that, 12 hours? Yeah, 10 to 10 is 12 hours. So I can tell you, okay, and I don't know, I still have this, my co-star, my zit. I'll be glad I'm not getting rid of this thing. I have, I don't pop my zits. I will tell you guys that. Um, that's one thing I didn't include in my skincare regimen, I don't think. I don't pop my, my zits. I use, um, hold on. Uh, this product right here, okay? I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but get familiar with it. It's a pretty good product. It's the e.l.f. Uh, Zit Zapper. I'll do a, a review on this at some point. I think people are actually already have reviews on this, but I like this product a lot. It's only a dollar. Target carries e.l.f. now. That's where I got this from. Good stuff. But anyways, I really just put that on every night. And um, it's been getting smaller. I think it might have got a little bit irritated today from me wearing foundation. But that's another story. Anyway, back to the foundation and the topic at hand, okay? I put this foundation on approximately, like I said, 12 hours ago. And as you can see, I'm a little bit... Um, I haven't reapplied. I haven't put on any powder. I haven't done anything to my face since 10 o'clock this morning. Um, so as you can see, I'm still... I'm, I'm a little bit shiny you know through the t-zone but generally speaking this still looks pretty good okay um one thing that i do like about this foundation it's definitely very it gives you really good coverage and it's not like the nasty kind of cakey coverage you could get from some liquid foundations it's a very smooth um very kind of sheer coverage and if you want to i'm pretty sure you can build it up i'm pretty sure it's buildable i use it's not up here right now. I use the um, dual fiber stippling brush. Not the one I got from my haul, but the one that my long handle one that I've had um, for a while from Target. Um, I also applied it with a 
just like a not a moisturizer but I usually spritz my little brush with a little bit of um like mixing medium my own homemade just glycerin and water basically spritz it a little bit switch my brush put put it on the back of my hand dab 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 and it just kind of go over my face and it, it gave me a really really nice finish today it's, like I said it's I haven't retouched or anything so it's still um it's kind of shiny right now but you know whatever it's the end of the day and then the other thing I did do was I put it um I put this true match super blendable powder on top and I just used a powder brush like this one. Dab, dab, dab. And kind of just all over my face. Um, but yeah. I'm not reviewing this product. This is the product I'm reviewing. This is, this is good stuff. And I'm really sad because I'm pretty sure this is discontinued now. Because usually Big Lots gets the discontinued makeup. Anyway. but Plus, this isn't even really the right color, I don't think. Because, like I said, this is the light W8. This is the dark one. I don't know how the heck this is the same. This, this is like two totally different colors. Anyway, so that's product number one that I'm um, reviewing. And I guess that review is kind of pointless if it's going to be discontinued. But whatever, I like it. So it is what it is. Then the next product I'm reviewing. Now, you guys know I like the Dollar Tree a lot. Okay? One item, my mother, okay, backstory. My mother came home one day from a trip and she had purchased this creamy petroleum jelly okay this right here this actually is mine I purchased my own but she had purchased this from the Dollar Tree and she came home and I was like who have I heard of creamy basically click creamy Vaseline I was like what kind of nastiness but I'm gonna tell y'all if you have this at your Dollar Tree pick it up this stuff is the business. I wanted a um, a lotion, more so like a lotion or a cream that was going to be creamy but not oily, number one. Two, creamy and not scented. I really wanted something, especially for the winter months. Um, for the summer, I mean, I like scents every now and again, but I don't like to be... Cause I like to wear perfume too, and I don't I don't like to do perfume, lotion, and perfume. I just feel like I smell like a big flower. I mean, that's not necessarily bad, but I just all those you know fragrances all together sometimes don't work out. So I wanted something that was kind of scentless but still very creamy. This stuff is the bomb. Like okay, so it comes now. The one that you might see at your Dollar Tree might not be in the big two. Hopefully you can find the big two because you get 50% free. Uh -huh. But um, it comes in a tube probably about this big. Yeah, probably about that big. But um, this is what it looks like. I'm going to spread some out for you. Just a little bit. So it looks like that. Very, very creamy. Very creamy. It almost puts me in the mind of, um, if you guys are familiar with the Eucerin lotion or Eucerin creams, that kind of creaminess. And the beautiful thing about this is you know how normally um, petroleum jelly or Vaseline is a very oily, very shiny mess. <laughs> but this one is a, it's very, like as you can see I don't have any, it's, my hands aren't greased up. You know, it's a very moisturizing um, product. I love, I love this stuff. This is awesome. And I had been looking for it in the big um, tube. Because they only had the little ones. I'm like, for a dollar, I knew my mom paid a dollar for this. And I was like, I want to find this one because I'm not paying a dollar, you know, for half the product. So I, I searched today and I found this and I was so freaking excited. Um, The main ingredient is petroleum, 30%. Says so skin protectant. Uh, use, uh, uses temporary, temporarily protects minor cuts, scrapes, burns. Temporarily protects and helps relieve chapped or cracked skin. Helps protect from the drying effects of the wind and cold weather. So obviously, very, 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 very good for the upcoming winter months. I like it for now. Because like I said, it gives me a very nice, um, creamy, moisturized feeling without being too heavy. It's not greasy. It's not oily. Love it. And it was only a dollar. And I hope they never stop making this. Okay. So that concludes my two reviews. I think I'm going to do at the end of the month, because it's coming up pretty soon, I might do a... Um, would it be an August favorites? Yeah, think about doing that. 
So anyways, I thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the box or give me, um, send me a message. And I hope you guys have a good night and I'll talk to you later. Deuces.